ya rokut eto di bere bogo soda pray the holy ghost pray the holy ghost pray the sete kenya kazona for he the president of no song edifies himself hallelujah he the president of no song speaks not unto men but unto god in the spirit he's speaking mysteries why don't you speak those mysteries unto your god this evening speak those mysteries speak those mysteries karabaraba so talabara Seria Roko Bayanabato Sata Shata Tata Ribarabasu Tariana. Lord, we open our mouth, O God, to speak mysteries unto you, O God. Rekesi Parabade Sekeri Baradas Tanda Ala Prodo Sede. Yes, go ahead and share the link with someone. Tell them we are live. Rosso to Brada Shanta. We are live. We are live. Rosso to Grete Shikarabate de Carina, Zoto to 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 Kitarabate Keri and Emilia, Zoto to 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 Eberi and Hisete Gesseto, Brada Santa, Brada Santa, Hala Proto Sekeri Mahadasha de. Don't be sound, don't be sound. We have come to Mount Zion. O Proto Sodaya, Mount Zion is a special place in the heart of. God and we are on the spiritual mountain this morning, the mountain of deliverance, the Mount Zion. The writer of Hebrews said to us, We have come as the church of the Lord Jesus. We have come to Mount Zion. Roko Soto Brada Shada Brada Sekenia Dosada O Bunyahada. You have not come to Mount Sinai where there is fear, where there is a fright, where you are scared, but you have come to the presence presence of the living God, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty, ha. liberty in the spirit, liberty to worship the Father, liberty to, to, to stand in awe of him, liberty to reverence him, Li- liberty to declare that he alone is Lord and God in all of the universe. Come on, unmute yourself and pray in the Holy Ghost as you worship the Lord this evening, and you say, Lord, here I am to worship you, here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you are my God. Reka sata baria kashedenya borata sata kuda. You are the only God. Oh barita suda hada. In all of the heavens, you are God alone. Upon the earth, you are God alone. Under the earth, you are God alone. You are God all by yourself. At la poto sata kariana, I will lift up my eyes to the hills from where does my help come from my help comes from the lord who made the heavens and the earth it is to you alone that all flesh come you who answers prayers oh god the fountain of hope the lord god has joy in the presence of the lord there is fullness of joy at your right hand that pleasures forevermore lord we have come to partake of the fullness of joy we have come to but still, God, of the pleasures at your right hand. Lord, we thank you for the precious, precious sacrifice of our Lord Jesus Christ. For by his sacrifice, by the shedding of his blood, you have admitted us into your presence. You have accepted us in the beloved, oh God. And you are not ashamed to call yourself our Father. Thank you for you have given us the spirit of adoption whereby we cry Abba Father. Come on church, I want us to be grateful this evening. Grateful for access into the presence of God. Grateful to, for access into the things that are beyond the veil. Oh, not too long ago, many could not cross over from the outer court into the inner court. For into the most holy of holies, the majority of God's people could not cross over until the blood was shed at the mercy seat. Oh, it is on account of that blood that we have been admitted into the family of God with the full rights and privileges of sonship. 
Malakas koto krodo roko di karabaso talia reke sedo. Thank you Lord for sonship. Thank you Lord for sonship. Kala bakari karoko ko. Papa papa. Now we can speak for ourselves. We don't have to come through a mediator. Jesus is the only mediator that we come through. We don't have to come through any second and third class mediator. You are the mediator, Lord Jesus. It is by you that we come. You are the living and the new way. You are the way, the truth, and the life. It is by you that we have come. We have gained access to our Father through your precious blood. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. If you are as excited as I am, you will lift up worship on behalf of each child in your care. Call them by name and say, Father, I bring to you my sons, my daughters, my nieces, my nephews, my spiritual children, my God children. Oh, I bring to you all the children that you have kept in my care. I acknowledge, O oh God, that my children are not just biological. They are they come in various shapes and sizes, but I'm grateful, Lord, that you have counted me worthy to be a custodian of your blessing because all kinds of children in all shapes, forms, and sizes, they come from you, O oh God. The Bible says they are your heritage. I bring all these words into your presence oh God and I say thank you oh wherever you are you want to begin to say thank you, thank you Lord for this young man, thank you Lord for this young women, thank you Lord for these babies in my hands, thank you Lord for this for this, for these adult children thank you Lord for all the children you have kept in my care it is in your mercy that you have allowed us oh God to partake of the joy of parenting, the joy of, of modeling you, you before the, the children that you have sent into the earth. Lord, we give them back to you, O oh God. We give them back to you, O oh God. We return them to you, O oh God. We return our sons. We return our daughters. We return all the children in our care. We return them to you, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, reke so tarabada kaseni karia hapa to 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 sete prada sada ah lo prodo shada we tala bariana kusata we attach our children we attach our sons and our daughters to the altars of heaven, O God, prodo zada bania because they came from you. We return them to you. You are the only one that is able to keep them safe. You are able. You are the only one that is able to keep them strong. You are the only one that is able to care for them more than anyone. You are the one whose hands are not too short that you cannot save. You are the one whose ears are not deaf that you cannot hear. Oh Lord, we are grateful that we can return our children to you. When Hannah returned Samuel to you, she said he shall be yours forever. Lord, we return all these children in our care to you. We ask, Father, that you receive them that they might be yours forever let them serve you let them do your bidding let them do all that you desire for them let them fulfill your purposes for their lives let them turn this world right side up to the power of your name in the name of the lord jesus let them lord let them be liberals in your kingdom let them be them that will herald the kingdom of our lord and of his christ all over the nations of the earth let it please you father that you will run your agenda upon the earth through this one so god in the name of jesus and that is why we have come, Lord, for their spiritual journey. Brada Tabako Satakashada, Kenya Dada Dada Sada, the Apostle Paul said, Ah, my children, I traveled in birth for you. I'm traveling again that Christ be formed to you. Oh, brothers and sisters, we pray in the name of Jesus that by the Spirit of God, every child in our care will know the Lord by an encounter. They'll come into a definite 
encounter with the Lord and they will choose him above every other option in the name of the Lord Jesus and as many of them that have even chosen him that they will begin they will continue to follow on in their relationship with him oh father we ask that the spirit of the living God will open the eyes of their understanding we read in the book of Acts chapter 16 that you open the heart of those women you open the heart of Lydia Lord God open the heart of my sons open the heart of my daughters come on church are you praying for their spiritual journey that the light of the glorious gospel will shine in the nooks and the crevices of their heart by that light let there be an expulsion of every trace of darkness in their thinking, in their emotions, in their desires, in their cravings, in their dis- in, in, in their cravings, oh God. But that do, 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 do. baptize each and every one of our children eh, with the love and the craving and desire for you. One that they cannot deny, one that they cannot sideline, one that they cannot ignore. In the name of the Lord Jesus, is anybody praying with me? Come on, church, we're praying about the spiritual journey of our children that they will love the Lord with all their hearts and with all their minds and with all their strength. Oh yes, that every part of their being will be consumed with the pursuit of God in the name of Jesus. Ah, we invoke the power of the Spirit of God, the greater influence greatest influencer ever yet dodori kasada apariya da sodo our children know about influencers on social media how ah, we introduce to them the greatest influencer the greatest influencer the greatest influencer oh brother sotaka his name is the holy ghost the greatest influencer that by the spirit of god his influence will rest upon their hearts rest upon their souls rest upon their minds rest upon their desires rest upon their cravings, the influence of the Holy Ghost, the influence of the Holy Ghost, rest upon our children, spirit, soul, and body. Come on, church, pray with me. Jesus said, do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born again. In other words, you may be, you may be born by your, by your mother in flesh, but you must be born by the Spirit of God in the Spirit. This is the second birth, and so we call for our children to come into alignment with a desire to receive the second birth, to receive the second birth, or free of charge by the Spirit of the Living God. Maybe there are options that have been presented to our children. The Bible says in the last days, perilous times will come. People will deny their faith. People will begin to walk away from their faith. Oh, Paridasa, we say, not on our watch. We raise the power, the standard of the Holy Ghost against every onslaught of Satan to deceive, to, de- to deceive, oh, to, to discourage. To lie to our children. Voices of discouragement, voices of deceit, voices of lies, Arabado Sakiria, voices of despair, concerning their decision to follow the Lord. We raise the standard of the Holy Spirit against those voices and we nullify them, we nullify them, we nullify them in the name of the Lord Jesus. We shut down the voice of the liars. We shut down the voices of liars. We put those Speaking 
not right to the Spirit of God. There are many voices in the world, but none of them is without significance. We undo every contrary voice. So don't overlap that. Voices, voices of worldliness, voices of sin and deceit. Voices of Antichrist lifestyle choices. <laughs> this is not just about adult children. I'm talking about children all the way from cradle to adulthood. That in the name of Jesus, every voice speaking contrary to the Christ, we consume by fire. Every voice speaking contrary to the Christ, we neutralize by fire. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, we render useless every counsel, every argument, every philosophy contrary to the Christ, contrary to the knowledge of Christ, contrary to the ways of our Lord Jesus, every lifestyle choice, every desire, every craving, all oh, that is contrary to the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the delivering power of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the to the to the power of the name of Jesus. Oh, we pull down those struggles. Paul said, even though we war, we live in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. And therefore, all this craziness of of anti-Christ lifestyle choices, anti-Christ sexuality, anti-Christ choices of, of, of behavior. I want you to know that it is of the spirit of the age. It is of the spirit of darkness. The Bible says in Second Thessalonians, and I say that to you almost every week. Five, two, seven that the spirit of lawlessness is already at work. He doesn't care anymore whether that child is only two years old. He doesn't care anymore whether that child is only four years old. Ah, but that's so tar, because the devil is a bad devil and therefore we want to go after that lion and bear and the bear that is seeking the lives of our children. We want to rip it apart. Much better than David did. We go by the blood. We go by the speed of the Holy Ghost and the power of the blood and we command the reversal a reversal of every of, of every effect of the lion and the bear the lion of pornography the lion of of, of, of masturbation the lion of anti-christ like lifestyle choices the lion of deceitfulness the lion of deceitfulness of riches the lion of worldliness the lion and the bear that has come to snatch the, the, the lamb away that has come to snuff out the life out of that lamb, ah, that lion of gambling, that lion and the bear, ah, and that be that of arguments and philosophies that are contrary to the gospel of our Lord Jesus, oh, we go after it, come on church, go after it, for the deliverance of every child represented here, unmute yourself as we go after the lion and the 
the bear and we command Arato Sotokosa for the release of our sons and our daughters. Are you with me, church? For Abada Sutapasika Labatikata. Hatasura still on this whole Antichrist life, the Antichrist like lifestyle choices, anti-Christ sexuality. I want you to begin to go, go on about it and declare that the kingdoms of this world, they have become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ. Thy kingdom come in the lives of my children. It is his kingdom they will follow. They will not follow the crowd. They will not follow the, 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 the wide and, uh, and, and the broad way that is leading to hell. No, they will choose the Christ. In the midst of a crooked and perverse generation, we provide them uh, through the power of the blood of Jesus, through the name of Jesus, we provide them with the strength of mind, with the strength of heart, oh, the power to say no to sin, in the name of the Lord Jesus, some of them have been lied to, to say, oh, it's just, just try it, you can only know if you try, ah, we, di- we, we direct such voices away from our children, and we declare that the voice of a stranger they will not hear the voice of the stranger they will not hear we break the backbone of all anti-christ agenda come on church pray with me we break the backbone of all anti-christ agenda channel that our children through the school system through social media every anti-christ agenda takasha agendas that have come to discredit the name of our god agendas that have have come to run the family system in the world, agendas that have come oh, to, 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 dim, to diminish the value of the institution of the family and, and, the, and marriage as God intended. Come on, church, I want you to pray with me over this, uh, that all of those agenda, Hebrada, Sota, Cassandra, all those confusing agenda, agenda to, to, to mess up the, the identities of our children. Oh, Prada, Sota, Kashanda, our identity is in Christ. Our, our identity is in Christ and we declare that every confusion come to destruction come to not we command all the confusion that is going on out there in the world to seize ah, where our children are concerned that it will not prosper the Bible says our God is able to frustrate uh, uh, their, their counsel able to frustrate uh, frustrate their counsel so that their enterprise will not prosper where our children are concerned uh, oh for those uh, that are peddling anti-Christ lifestyle choices, and we declare that counsel will not prosper where our children are concerned in the name of Jesus. We declare in the name of Jesus that our God rules in the lives of our children. We declare in the name of Jesus against the agenda of Satan in these last 
day to destroy the identity of the children that God has given to us. Kadibara do sata, panderi adasata, ah, kenye hadasata, ukuri adasuda, we have been made, our children are made in the image of God. Therefore, they have their identity in Christ. Every other identity, we, 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 we bury it in the power of the blood. We bury it in the blood. We bury them in the blood. In the Paul said, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Oh, we pray that the mind that was in Christ Jesus, let it be in our sons, let it be in our daughters. Let the mind that was in Christ Jesus be in our children that we are praying for tonight, be in the children that God has kept in our care. Let the mind of Christ, even that Jesus has made available to us, let it begin to rule over their minds, over their natural minds. Let the mind of Christ, let it begin to take oh, take, take over, say, take ascendancy over their natural mind. Let them deal from the position of the mind of Christ in the name of Jesus. Now we pray for all the people in their network, for all their associations. You need to be fast and furious with me because we're going to pray to some things this evening. I want you to begin to pray for the associations that your children keep. Bring it under the scrutiny of the Holy Ghost, that which God has not planted, Jesus said it was the uprooted. Tonight, we uproot every association, every allegiance that is not of God, including your domestic staff, all the network of your children, those that are not of God, that you did not know, maybe that child care provider ought not to be there. In Jesus' name, we uproot their services. Maybe that lecturer ought not to be in his life or in her life, but somehow has found its way into that child's life. Tonight, we bring it under the power of the Holy Ghost and we uproot all forms of allegiances that are not of God. Allegiances that 
do, do not go well for the blossoming of their destiny. Oh, we uproot it. Come on, church, I'll meet you. I'll meet you. I'll pray with Krada Sutakashanda, pray this Italia, because evil communication corrupts good manners. Kilibarada Sutakashanda, we Navariada Soda, we pray for associations, we pray for relationships and allegiances and go well for the for advancement in destiny. in the name of Jesus, I just have had this in my spirit all week that we should begin to pray concerning the territorial, the, the territorial uh, 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 positions that that uh, that operate in the arena in the arena where your child is domiciled. Maybe your child is living in a city where 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 there is where it's unknown for alcoholism, and so the spirit in that atmosphere, the spirits in that atmosphere, the negative spirits in that atmosphere are operating through that vice. I want you to begin to pray concerning the spiritual atmosphere under which your child is operating. Daniel, while still in the Old Testament, he prayed and he contended with the spirits of the of the power of the air that, that was that was operating in the atmosphere where he, he was dealing. I want you to begin to dig pull down the, the priest of the power of the air, engage and 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 pull him down, take him out of the way for, so that your child can thrive. They are called territorial spirits. They have come to 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 hinder, to hamper, and to deem the destinies of, of people. And your child is, is living in that in that territory. There are territories that is filled with all these anti-Christ life uh, lifestyle choices. And they know filled with antichrist like uh, sexuality some places are filled with gambling and pornography and sexual immorality I want you to begin to believe God rise up in faith and, and make War. The Bible says this is the kind of fast that I have established to lose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy bodies, to let the oppressed go free, yet to sata kashada, to bind their chains, the psalmist said, with fetters of iron. Ayanadadadada. Oh, padisata, I I come by the power of the Holy Spirit into the territory under which my children are operating. Kalada kosata ya, and I take over the spiritual atmosphere for the benefit of my children. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I declare war in that atmosphere and I declare the Lordship of Jesus over that spiritual atmosphere. In the name of Jesus, if somebody pray for their own
own children. Go ahead and pray and say, I take authority over the spiritual atmosphere of the territory where my child operates. That all the vices of the enemy prevalent in that area will not it will not affect my children in the name of Jesus. So Talavada Kaskota as that assumption there's more than one person that believes that your children ought to, ought to operate under an open under an open heaven. We clear the spiritual atmosphere or we read it of all the works of darkness. Korabada Kaskoto of it yourself. Somebody pray in the Holy Ghost. If you, if you don't know what words to say, pray in the Holy Ghost, pray in the Holy Ghost. Blada to Kariada Kutelibara Boshada, Ebretegesete, Goraba Hatsuda, Ekidia, Ekidia, Skodulia, Kariados, Betelibarabados, Katelibas, Kotoria, Ah, Bari Hatata, we all do, we all do, the priests of the power of the air, we pull down his machinations, Fomo de Kesuta, Vida la 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 la, Oroko Sotobra, Isala da 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 da, allocated to the area where my children are domiciled, I pull down their works. I say, Consumably, my sons and my daughters, you have might, you have faith in the name of Jesus. Rokos, Rodo, Sodo, Rodo, Sodo, Arabato, Soto, Soto, Videges, Ribarabato, Sata, Arabato, Rodo, Rodo, Sekeriada, Redish. Ge <laughs> declare Jesus Christ is Lord in the in the territory where my sons are domiciled, where my daughters are domiciled, where all of our children are operating. We declare that Jesus, the Spirit of the Lord Jesus, reigns in the atmosphere, reigns in their midst. In the name of Jesus, the Lordship of Jesus, oh, it it walks all the way through for their lives in the name of Jesus. Loko Sata Kashada and every foul spirit of, of darkness seeking their attention has no chance in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Paul said in Ephesians chapter 2, he says, In the wherein it he walks in the, according to the time passed, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 2, wherein the time passed, you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now works in the children of disobedience. We overturn the activities of the prince of the power of the air that our children would not, would not have any part to do with it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you all the glory and all the praise praise as we have come to to uh just more than halfway we thank you because you are you are our helper without you we can do nothing thank you spirit of god in jesus name amen and amen well done everyone thank you for for yielding to the holy spirit thus far i want to say a big thank you to all the first timers thank you for joining this is a wonderful family to join give us a thumbs up let's know you are there we like to appreciate you thank you for for uh holding out and uh, especially at this time of the night for some of us god bless you and thank you a big shout out to all our givers we want to say a big thank you i, I just want to repent that i don't get to say thank you uh, as much as i should i want to say a big thank you you have we have made it easy for us to carry on with what god has laid on our hearts to do I want you to know that for every good thing that you do the scripture says the same you will receive of the lord whether you are bond or free glory be to god and i just want to remind us night of worship and witness has been postponed we will 
furnish you with the new dates in due course. God bless you. I'm going to hand you over to announcer so you can get some more information and a testimony to set us on our way so we can finish up what we started. Over to you, announcer. God bless you. Thank you very much, Pastor Agatha. And thank you everyone for joining to pray for your children and also all the children that are in your spiritual care. You can connect with our ministry by going to our YouTube channel, Prayer Bootcamp for All Nations. If you click on playlists, you'll find a list of all our uh, recordings of all our prayer meetings. You can pray along. You can uh, share the, the links with your family and friends. And we'd like to ask you to kindly like the recordings and also to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also connect with our ministry by emailing us at prayerbootcamp at oasisfoundation.org.uk. Um, you can send us your prayer requests, your testimonies, and your feedback, and we will also send you ministry updates. Thank you. At the end of this meeting, we'll be taking communion, so please have your communion emblems ready. I just want to remind you of some of the meetings that we have coming up this week. We have Operation Let My People Go coming up on Monday and uh, Task Force for, uh, Against Cancer. And then on Wednesday, uh, we have a monthly prayer meeting for stronger and better marriages. Uh, please join us uh, for that on um, so at 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. UK time. And then on Thursday, we have Prayer School 104 Session 2. Uh, it's also at 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. UK time. If you've not registered, you can do so uh, by either emailing us your first and last name uh, to the email address that is shown on the screen, or you can click on the link uh, that was posted earlier in the chat and which will be posted again. Either one is fine if you have not registered. If you have registered, you don't have to do anything. You will receive reminders for every session through to the end of the series in October. Thank you. And with that, I would like to go straight to our testimony for today. Thank you. Our son graduated from a leading university in the UK in 2020 with an MSc in engineering. His search for a job yielded nothing and left him with the option of coming back home to Nigeria. However, I was sure that God wanted him to go on to get another master's degree. I convinced him that God truly was in this decision. He went ahead and completed a master's degree in computer science, then began another season of job search. Finding a job was not so easy and he was often disappointed when he got a rejection, especially as his friends were landing great jobs. I encouraged him to trust God, but he was starting to feel that God was distant. He got a job eventually. He actually got a couple of jobs and so he had a choice of jobs. Uh, to choose from. About two years later, he began to feel that he needed a new job and so began the search again. He also applied for his leave to remain in the UK, that is his permanent residence. A friend of ours had recommended a lawyer who had sorted out her son's leave to remain. Our son went on to make his application to the home office by himself. He didn't see any reason to waste money engaging a lawyer. For me, that was a prayer point, that was prayer point number one. Uh, Anyway, job hunt continues. Many interviews later, he lands a job, just what he thought he wanted, a city job, a salary that was 20,000 pounds higher than his previous salary. However, another company he was waiting on called him to let him know that he had passed on to the next stage. But some staff in the company had applied for the same position and usually priority is given to internal applicants. Mommy, please pray for me, he said. I said, I will pray, but God wants to hear your voice, so you must pray too. His response was that they don't seem to listen to him. I said, pray. I focused on prayer point number two in earnest, making declarations. And as Pastor Agatha always says, making power available for him through every selection process. Not only did he get the job to the glory of God, the remuneration blew our minds. His base salary was more than twice the offer he got from the first company, which was already a good improvement on his current uh, his, his salary at his current job. His permanent residence, residency application was also approved. We didn't need to engage the services of a lawyer. We just hooked on to Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Thank you. Hmm. Hallelujah. Over woo, to you, Pastor. Woo, woo. 
glory, glory, glory. Somebody shout hallelujah. Oh, come on, church. You sound like you didn't hear that testimony. That was one testimony after the other. It's like in layers. That's like an onion kind of testimony. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 My God supplies all our needs according to his riches in glory. According to his riches in glory. God is supplying our children's needs according to his riches in glory, not according to what is left in the coffers of, of the government or anyone, but according to what God has left. And he has much more than we ever know. Glory be to God. Lord, we bring before you the, the academic and, and intellectual endeavors of our children. We ask for the leading of the Holy Spirit. We ask for the leading of the Holy Spirit. That mother said that she was led by the Spirit for him to do another master's. We ask for the leading of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. In every academic and intellectual endeavor, we bring them before you, O God. We bring them before you because we read in the scriptures that you gave wisdom to Daniel. You even gave wisdom to people who are so, supposed to make ordinary tents in the in the in the tabernacle. That's how important it is to you, Lord. We we bring our own children for allocation of wisdom. That in this season of transition, uh, especially for those children that are going from one class to another, in this season of transition, oh God, that there will be a glorious transition that each and every one of our children represented here will experience a glorious transition because you, oh God, you give wisdom. The Bible says in Daniel chapter 1 verse 17, God gave knowledge and skill in all learning and wisdom. Oh Lord, that means you can give knowledge and skill in every area of endeavor. We ask Father for knowledge and skill for every child. By the blood. Jesus said, if we ask in his name, you will give us. In the name of Jesus, we ask for impartation of knowledge, impartation of skill. Oh Lord, that their memories will be charged, oh, turbo charged by your spirit, that their mental asset is able to receive, oh God, able to retain, able to process and reproduce knowledge upon demand in the name of the Lord Jesus. We pray, Father, that by your spirit, oh God, every child represented here, they will have a glorious transition into their next level of, 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 of the next level of, of, of endeavors in the name of Jesus we pray by the spirit of the living God for favor with all in all the assessment processes in every selection process we declare the favor of God to speak for every child represented here that when men are saying there's a casting down that our children will be saying there's a lifting up that are job interviews, oh God, they will be preferred like you preferred, like Daniel was preferred. We call for help. You said that you are the God of the harvest. We ask for 
the helpers, uh, the, the, the laborers uh, that you have assigned to our children's academic and intellectual harvest. We ask you for teachers, the right tutors, the right instructors. Oh Lord, for, for allocation of resources, oh God. We quicken the laborers, we quicken them, oh God, so that they will come along with the right tools and the right resources in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, as many as have gone through any, any, any a selection process, we are asking that your favor will multiply in their direction. Come on, church, and meet yourselves and let's pray. Multiplication of favor. I just heard the cry of that parent saying, no, Agatha, you don't know that the exam has already been done and, and, and the results are coming, but it's already been done. So no need to pray for the teachers. Oh, no, I want you to believe God for a miracle. Oh, the, the, the God who is able to turn water into wine, thereby compressing time. He is working on behalf of your son and your daughter. He is working on behalf of your children. It doesn't matter how close it is. Quarter to shame. The Lord God Almighty, the God that does not leave us in the lurch, who does not leave us in the ditch. Oh, that same God, he will pick up that, that, that child, he will pick that child and grant him wind under his wings and fly him over the transition, just like he turned up for that couple in the marriage of, 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 at Cana. He will turn up for your child, even as we continue to believe God, we believe God for that glorious transition, glorious outcome for every child represented here. We declare an avalanche of testimonies in this direction in the name of Jesus, come on church and meet yourself and pray and say Lord, I turn it loose to you because there is nothing that you cannot handle. There is nothing too hard for you. There is nothing too difficult for you. In the name of Jesus, it is not over. Oh, it is not over until we see the glory of God manifest. It is not over. In the Total 
Paul said, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual wickedness in high places. I want us, as we begin to bring our prayers to a close, as you grab your communion emblems, I want you to begin to pray and say, ha, every negative uh, pattern, uh, la proto satakasha, whether it's generational or not, every negative pattern that 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 is manifesting or, or or trying to manifest in the life of this child, I come against you in the name of Jesus uh, by the blood, by the blood, the blood of the new covenant. The Bible says our own Passover lamb has been sacrificed for us. Keribaradashoda, his name is Jesus, and by the blood of Jesus. We stand against and uproot and destroy the foundation of every kind of negative pattern, patterns of sickness, patterns of failure, patterns of delays, patterns of denial, pattern of poverty, pattern of laziness, pattern of procrastination, pattern of almost death syndrome, pattern of stillbirths, oh, reke sotaka, where, 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 where it looks like, oh, the child has put in everything, but it still comes out as a failure. Tonight, we release the power of the blood that is speaking better things than the blood of Abel against every negative pattern. Sicknesses and diseases, mental and physical sicknesses, we destroy its yokes. We destroy their yokes in the name of Jesus. Patterns of delay. Always having to take exams two, three, four times. Ayato soto padishada atase patterns that have come against the speed of God. Patterns shkete no do 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 skade and it's almost like oh, as for that child, she has to do her exams every time, two or three times. We say no, we say no. That by the speed of the Holy Ghost, by the hand of God, they scale over the wall, they run through the troop, they run through the troop, and they successfully scale over every wall. In the name of Jesus, on time anointing, rest upon every child represented here by the power in the blood. Come on, unmute yourself. We're talking about the power in the blood, destroying the yoke of negative patterns, the yoke of negative patterns. Come on, you are a line crosser. Cross that line by the blood and say, in the name of Jesus, I destroy the yoke the enemy has come against my children. Contrary to the will, the light of the righteous man shines 
Patterns of obscurity. He looks as if something is just covering that child. Everybody selected except this one. We break its yoke. We destroy the yoke of, of obscurity. Karida da da da. Take soto yoke of marginalization or in any shape, form, or fashion. We destroy you now in the name of Jesus in this place where the presence of God is tangible. We destroy the yoke of marginalization, the yoke of despair, the yoke of disappointment, the yoke of almost death syndrome, the yoke of I of, of I nearly made it. No, 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 no. We destroy every pattern that is not of God, and we invoke the blood of our Lord Jesus. As we come to communion table, we invoke the blood of our Lord Jesus that speaks advancement, the blood of our Lord Jesus that speaks progress. The Bible says that the path of the righteous one is as a shining light, it shines brighter and brighter and brighter. We say concerning our children that there shall never be a better yesterday. They continue to mount up with wings as eagles, they ride upon the high places of the earth in the name of Jesus. They are eagles, they are not house chickens. Therefore, they fly on the wings of the on the on the wings of the spirit of God. Being the wind under their wings, they fly higher and higher, and they soar into high altitudes to the glory of God. In the name of Jesus, and as we partake of communion, we declare in Jesus' name that our children continue to 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 manifest the glory of God. The Bible says, "As many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God." God has given unto us the spirit of adoption whereby we cry Abba Father Lord we ask that you alone lead our children hallelujah lead them oh God lead our children you are the one that is the best the best at academics the best at intellectual endeavors the best in business the best doctor the best nurse the best friend the best spouse you are the best at everything we ask that you alone lead our children so that there'll be no strange gods with them thank you father Thank you, Father. You lead them into the right relationships. Lead them into, into marital relationships. Strengthen their, their desires so that it is unto you alone. In Jesus' precious, precious name. Amen and amen. Glory be to God. How? Oh, wow, wow, wow. That, the, the, those few moments have gone too quick. I want you to know that you are in for a good time. I'm expecting testimonies. Let me use this moment to encourage you. Send us your testimonies. Your testimony is the spirit of the testimony of Jesus is spirit of prophecy. So your testimony could be a prophetic word for somebody so that they themselves can also have a testimony. God bless you as you have joined us today. It's also to remind you, prayer school has started. It's on fire. The first mm -hmm. session is now on, on, uh, on YouTube. It's now up and uh, uploaded on YouTube. Go over it and listen to it. Even though I was one preaching, I was being so blessed as well. I, and I'm sure you'll be blessed as I was blessed. I want you to know that the, the, this, this series of prayer school is, is out of this world. God has sent precious, precious teachers to us whom he has loaded because he had you in mind. Please remember to register, join us 
this coming Thursday. Also join us for prayer for marriages. We appreciate you. We know that that uh, we, we know that what God has planned for marriages is your portion in the name of Jesus. What God planned is stronger and better marriages. He says a threefold cord cannot be easily broken. Marriages to be honored in every way. Amen. Praise the Lord. And if you are able, join us tomorrow for Operation Let My People Go and Task Force Against Cancer. Have a lovely week. You're ready in Sunday if you are if you are on my time zone and some of you are just coming behind us. Some of you are way into Sunday. I want you to have a blessed, blessed Sunday in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's share the grace in fellowship, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Amen